G'day and welcome back to another classroom idea. For the past few years, uh, my school's been looking at different types of assessment as a professional practice, We're looking at formative assessment. Uh, we've been thinking about teaching and clarifying goals using Dylan William uh, as, as kind of uh, one of the main influences of, of what we've been doing. And we're looking at different techniques and there's a technique that I'm going to try with one of my classes that I've read a bit about and I've, I've heard a couple of other teachers talking about it and I think hopefully it's going to work well. It's a very simple idea. You need some pretty high tech equipment for it though. Popsicle sticks. You get the popsicle stick, you write the student's name, you chuck it in a cup. Then when you go to ask a question, you pull out a random popsicle stick and take it and put it out of the cup because that student has already answered a question. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what's the point of that? What, what does it do? Well, I think often as teachers, what we find ourselves doing is subconsciously, we, even if students aren't putting their hands up, we tend to go for students that we think are gonna be able to answer the question. No one likes the awkwardness of a, of a, of a student saying, oh, I don't know. And often, once you're trying to kind of, you know, you've tried to get an answer out of them, or maybe you've got someone else to answer the question, and even you've come back and said, what do you think about that? It breaks up the flow of the discussion. So I think it's human nature as teachers to want a quick kind of a discussion where it seems like everyone knows what's going on. And because of that, I wonder if often we find ourselves pointing to some students more than others. And if you do just say hands up volunteers, then you'll find yourself always picking out, or not picking out, they're volunteering similar students because they're the ones that are either brave enough to put their hands up or they know the answer. And it's very simple in one of those, one of those classes for a student to just not put their hand up, to look interested, to listen, but to never actually offer a response. So pop school sticks are a really easy way of you ensuring that you're actually finding out what more people in the class know. If it's, a, if it's over a lesson and you use all the sticks, well, you've actually heard from everybody in that lesson. And you may find yourself being surprised at what students know. So I have a class in mind that I'll be, that I'll be trying this with, with uh, my history class. And at the moment, I think reading through those accounts and, and listening to other teachers talking, I think that's probably pretty close to what happens in my class. I think I have certain students that I call on too often and others that I don't call on as much. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what impact popsicle sticks, a, such a simple idea, and see what, uh, see what impact that has on my discussions in class. As I said, it's not a, it's not a revolutionary idea. It's not, uh, you know, I haven't come up with this brilliant idea that no one's thought of before. I'm sure there are plenty of teachers that, that do this, uh, but I thought I might share that in case you've never heard of it, and I'll share later on what impact I feel it's had on the discussions in my history class once I've implemented them. 